Hi everybody. What an amazing day. I'm so impressed by the wide range of ideas and voices that we heard today. Listening to the speaker's insights and suggestions for gearing up has left me feeling energized and optimistic about our community's future. So many of the leadership talks I heard resonated strongly with me. I challenge all of you to spend some time reflecting on today's presentations and to choose one lesson or a takeaway that you'll bring back to your agency and your day-to-day -day work life. Here are just a few of the things that I'm personally taking away from today's presenters. First, we can all take something uh, from Tara's call for everyone to be a future ready leader, embracing change by turning uncertainty into opportunity. Like Tara, I encourage you to imagine where you want yourself, your organizations, and the IG community to be in October 2028, when we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the IG Act. Let's work together toward creating that future. A second takeaway that I want to leave you with is Matt's reminder that reasonable minds can disagree and we can still build strong relationships, even if we're not on the, not on the same page on every single detail. This concept is so key to keep in mind as we all work toward maximizing our impact by having productive engagements with our departments and our agencies. Third, to echo Nathan, data, data, data. Data analytics is gonna to continue to be a big part of our future. Bruce and Hala talked about sufficiently preparing ourselves to use data and the range of powerful tools available to us to amplify our oversight. Hala put it so well, harnessing the power of data analytics is a way to future-proof government oversight and is a necessary and very exciting part of our collective evolution. Finally, I'm inspired by Altivia's ideas to get comfortable talking about DEI&A, including orienting our approach to the action verbs, unite, engage, empower. And I'll be thinking about Larry's question, do you see me long after today's forum? I hope that's true of all of us here today. To sum it all up, Today's presentations make me feel fortunate to be part of this amazing community full of talented and motivated people. You are completing such important oversight work on behalf of the American public every day. SIGI's annual leadership forum is one of my favorite events. I hope that everyone in the audience today will consider presenting during next year's forum. This is a unique opportunity to share your insights and your perspective, and it's open to everyone whether you're a GS9 or an IG, whether you've been in government for three years or 33. Please take advantage of this opportunity. I promise you won't regret it. And now to my favorite part. I get to give kudos to all the folks that made today possible. First, I wanna thank all of today's presenters. You all knocked it out of the park yet again this year. It's not always easy to do a leadership talk in the first place. For most people, Developing and delivering a leadership talk is unlike anything else they've ever done. And doing so in a virtual environment means you don't have the instant audience feedback and energy that you'd have in person. But you all sure made it look easy. And at the same time, you gave us a lot to think about. Second, a huge thank you goes out to the Leadership Forum planning team, whose hard work and vision made today possible. Loretta Joseph, Adele Harris, Martin Herrera, Helen Springerth, Tara Rodas, Bill Yeager, Dave Gross, Elise Stein, and Jackie Phillips. Again this year, they put together a really valuable program. This is a dream team. Please share a, notion, a note of appreciation for them in the chat. And last, I'd like to acknowledge the Leadership Forum virtual production team who make all of the magic happen behind the scenes and have delivered a highly professional production three years in a row the many videographers and studio teams who helped design the set, film, and visually edit many of the talks. Your creative genius and technical skill have made their marks yet again. I'll leave you with one final thought. Ken spoke about this, about his personal journey from auditor to oversight professional. If everyone here today decided to try on the new job title of oversight professional, what would we each see differently or do more powerfully? And what would the collective impact be across the SIGI community? I encourage you to think about that 
and the answers to those questions as you move through your own career journeys. As you grow in your careers and we continue to grow as a community, we should all remember the advice we heard from Ken today. Just keep moving forward, one bite at a time. Thanks everybody, have a great day.